We also have a lot of uh, alumni from India mm -hmm. and I'm very glad that uh, we can still provide the best of European education for the Indian students mm -hmm. as Latvia is a very nice country to get education. Mm -hmm. The university provides uh, low tuition fees and uh, European diploma at very affordable uh, tuition fee. All our programs are designed in the way that students can uh, implement their knowledges and skills later getting their uh, better job, better opportunities in their future life. Hello all, today we are at Tika University with Olga. So good Olga, afternoon everyone. Yeah, good afternoon. Today we are going to go through, I mean we have the new coming September 2024 is going to open. So you know there are a lot of people are showing interest in Latvia these days, especially universities like Ika and many other universities. So could you please explain about Ika University? Uh, so my name is Olga Marnitz, I'm the head of International Students Department and I'm responsible for uh, international students admission to our university. I have to say that we, uh, we have been uh, accepting international students for many years till now and uh, a lot of students already got their diplomas. Uh, mm -hmm. We also have a lot of uh, alumni from India mm -hmm. and I'm I'm very glad that uh, we can still provide the best of European education for the Indian students. Mm -hmm. So we encourage uh, each student to consider coming to Latvia, as mm -hmm. Latvia is a very nice country to get education. Mm -hmm. It's green, it's, it's very quiet. It, we, uh, we have a long uh, history of providing best of uh, education for international students for many, many years. And here in Latvia you can find any kind of uh, education students can uh, can want uh, mm -hmm. and uh, our university provides uh, low tuition fees and uh, European diploma at very affordable uh, tuition fee and all the budget of education in Latvia is not so high mm -hmm. so living expenses are pretty low comparing to other European Union countries so if students from India want to get education uh, like from Europe uh, he might consider Latvia because Latvia um, provides European diploma at very affordable uh, tuition yes. fee. All right. Okay, so once we uh, say about uh, Ika University, what are the major programs that you offer for international students or, and especially Indians? What are the special programs you have? So we try to provide uh, education which will be useful in any country of the world. So mm -hmm. all our programs are designed in the way that students can uh, um, implement their knowledges and skills later getting their better job, better opportunities in their future life. So we found, we thought about which programs could be useful for them and we have three programs in economics. It's uh, management, marketing and business economics. We have IT, mm -hmm. uh, software engineering, mm -hmm. uh, it, it, it's bachelor programs mm -hmm. and we have three programs in master studies. Mm -hmm. uh, also very interesting, it's business economics, uh, business administration Sorry, circular economy and social entrepreneurship and the international culture project management, which by the way is very popular uh, for Indian students. They choose these programs uh, very, very frequently. So master studies are um, a very good uh, chance to get better job uh, for that for those students who already have uh, bachelor education in India. They already got diploma, so they can go for master degree. Uh, that's why the, uh, I think that's the good idea to choose a European diploma to get better uh, position in in the in the job. Why would uh, someone? choose Ika University in particular, what is the what is the advantage of Ika University first thing and second is like who can apply to Ika University, what is the eligibility criteria to apply in Ika University. Try to manage uh, students from many countries to manage the processes uh, affordable for them. So uh, if you will compare the tuition fees in different uh, European and Latvian university, you will see that our tuition fee is uh, almost uh, very one of the affordables. Mm -hmm. and, um, because we think that uh, we should give the chance uh, for many countries of the world to get European education. Mm -hmm. So like whether it is India, Sri Lanka or Central Asia or maybe uh, other, pa other parts of the world. Uh, our university is private one and uh, we also tend to provide personal approach for students. It means that uh, we do not have uh, big crowds of people. As you mm -hmm. see, for example, today is a little bit, uh, but it's the end of the day. It's usually quiet. Mm -hmm. uh, so we provide um, different kind of help for students, but uh, 
best part is that in our university they will be easily uh, getting um, for example, exchange programs, uh, because our, as I said, our groups are not so big and uh, competition between students not so uh, tough, I would All say. Right. But uh, our education is very good and our diploma is acknowledged at the state level. Mm -hmm. And we also accept uh, answering the second question that uh, standard uh, educational uh, stage of uh, Indian student is accepted in uh, Latvia, mm -hmm. so uh, those students who finished uh, 10 plus 2 um, grades in India mm -hmm. uh, can uh, apply for bachelor studies in Latvia, and those who got uh, bachelor education in India can apply for master's programs. Okay. And uh, other also, after graduation in Latvia, in our university, getting bachelor diploma, they can uh, easily go for master degree in any country of the world. So, mm -hmm. like, I, I encourage students to consider, like, uh, st studying in different countries. That's how they will get um, international uh, yeah. uh, exposure. Uh, exposure. Yeah. Uh, and how much percentage of marks the students should have? to apply for ECA University? We accept 60 plus uh, mm. percent to, to, for students. To so there is always people who who comes to the and ask like it is 59 or it of is Of course, of course, we're not speaking about exact, <laughs> exact yeah. per, per percent, but of course uh, we're not uh, interested in the grades of uh, some Indian uh, culture or religion. Uh, the main grades which we need to see in good quality it's uh, of course English, English language and uh, mathematics and uh, some major uh, grades. Okay. So is there any other specific conditions for years like you know for bachelors how many, how many year old can apply and for masters what is the age limit for that? Age limit? Age limit... Um, for undergraduation and post-graduation? Uh, if student is uh, under 25 uh, and get, got uh, uh, secondary education, a uh, student can apply for bachelor degree. Mm -hmm. And if student got a uh, bachelor degree in India and is under 35, uh, they can apply for master degree. All right. And uh, <clears throat> so what are the future opportunities for a student? Uh, my while, I mean, after their graduation, uh, what are the uh, uh, alumni options if they are a good student, they work hard, they complete their graduation or masters, what are the options they have normally? So, um, as I said, the main um, possibility while student can study in the European Union mm -hmm. is getting international exposure. Uh, exposure. Yeah, so the, our, all our students who came from third countries, mm -hmm. they can apply for exchange program Erasmus Plus. Mm -hmm. So they are getting a good uh, grant in mm -hmm. money to get in other European Union countries and study there for free and their expenses are covered. Mm -hmm. So that's how they can uh, uh, see many countries of the European mm -hmm. Union. Of course, they also ha will have opportunity to uh, go for vacation, for example, uh, for, for some touristic places in Europe. So compare how life, life is in Latvia, how mm -hmm. life is in Poland or Portugal or Italy, mm -hmm. Germany. So uh, this exchange program, uh, they can uh, choose the country where they can uh, go. And later after graduation and a little bit before graduation, of course, they have to understand what 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 is the next step uh, should they uh, go for the next step uh, of education maybe not in latvia but in other countries of european union mm -hmm. or maybe in uh, outside european union too mm -hmm. or they can uh, after graduation, uh, stay for they, they will have a postgraduate period. Mm -hmm. uh, it, it's the com comparing uh, it differs uh, between uh, bachelor or master, but couple months or four or six, they can stay in Latvia or uh, in other European Union country and uh, get job. And uh, that's how they change residence permit based on studies to, to residence uh, permit based, based on, on the work. work. Okay. So they have different options to stay in Latvia, to stay in Europe or to go back uh, home country. Okay. And uh, you know, what are the intakes that, you know, ICA University have? I mean, how many intakes do you have and do you have it, all programs in both the intakes? We have special, especially um, um, 
specially designed application process for students uh, from, from third countries because we know that uh, in different countries uh, diplomas are being provided in different uh, timing schedule. So we have two intakes for bachelors. Uh, one starts in October 1st and second one is uh, in February 1st. But uh, master study, uh, students study in module system, it means that they can uh, join the next available uh, module after arrival. That's how we uh, manage to mm -hmm. adjust our process for the for, international students. Even if the students who go get their diplomas a bit late, yeah. they have a bit yeah. take to come. They don't have yeah. to yeah. rush for September intake, right? Yes. Because Correct. normally in, from when you're talking about India, uh, it takes like, you know, uh, it, till end of June or July to get the certificates, but we are too late for that. Yeah, to apply so the, for then the students will be able, the master students will join next available module Mm. but uh, bachelor students can join the next available se semester but uh, I have to say that usually a very comfortable uh, period of uh, document pr process is about uh, three months so it's like uh, usually fits to to cover all the processes of admission all right and uh, you know what kind of now you know when you, you know Ika being a private university there are some uh, uh, people who think that you know ICA is an easy gateway. I don't know. I'm just uh, clearing the air. So you know what, what what kind of students are not welcome to our uh, to ICA? What kind um, of students are you know you're not in, in inviting everyone to ICA University? What kind of people are not invited as well? If you could uh, specify about it. Uh, it's. Uh, I do not like the phrase like not welcoming. Uh, mm -hmm. Of course, uh, that sounds a little bit uh, rude. rude. Yeah, we are not rude. We are very welcoming uh, society yeah. and very welcoming uh, university. But of course, our main concern is study. So mm -hmm. we are very uh, uh, strict on uh, attendance. We are strict on study. So mm -hmm. students. Uh, uh, European uh, type of uh, education uh, differs from third countries, so mm. a lot of work should be done independently, so uh, students ca should do homeworks, uh, write papers, because they have to uh, upgrade their skills. It's not like you're sitting at school and listening to your tutor, you have to become a Practic person with more skills and more practices than you have and more knowledge. So we are strict on that. So please uh, consider coming to HECA if you uh, wish to study. be a better uh, person, to have a better future, because you will get good education at affordable tuition fee, but we, we want you to study we want you to um, make your life better because if you will spend uh, time not uh, in studies but somewhere outside our university you will lose time and uh, that's not uh, money yeah of course money but money mm. is uh, the second mm. money is the small, small part. part the life is much much bigger, bigger. bigger. Yeah, okay correct you have covered the points how you can apply and what to expect from Mika University we have uh, toured, uh, toured around the university, showed them the facilities. But how does the uh, life of a student looks like if he's a student of ICA? You know, what facilities, what things they can do? And they are living in a city called Riga. So how does it help them to grow as a better person? So if you could explain, and especially being a student in ICA. Uh, so uh, shortly I can say that uh, conditions in Riga for uh, Indian students, uh, I think, uh, are good because uh, um, Riga and Latvia are quite depopulated areas mm -hmm. which needs uh, a lot of young people mm -hmm. to provide services. Yeah, we didn't spoke about uh, we didn't speak about uh, work opportunities. So once student comes to our university to study, mm -hmm. they get residence permit, which mm -hmm. uh, includes uh, the permission for work. St uh, bachelors can work 40, uh, 20 hours per week. Masters can work 40 hours per week, full time job. Mm -hmm. So uh, they can uh, find uh, different kind of jobs here. Of course, they will not be bosses maybe at once, so, but uh, same as our young people, they start with some service works and uh, maybe some in food services, uh, but that's, uh, I think, the good possibility to start uh, uh, their life. And our university provides uh, all the um, needed uh, consulting for students in uh, those uh, questions about uh, their work and uh, also all the opportunities of getting uh, um, different type of uh, 
uh, grants, for example, exchange are equal in private universities and state. So mm -hmm. in ECA, in our university, we have the same uh, amount of uh, opportunities. opportunities to offer to our students. All right. And what is uh, life living in Riga? Yeah, in I, uh, yeah. In general, it's very quiet, but mm. uh, uh, we have students from many, many countries. As you saw uh, mm. in the, in the center of Riga, <laughs> a lot of international students uh, mm. um, enjoying their life. They spend uh, time together. So we have different uh, partners of uh, student hotels and hostels and apartments where students stay. So they help each other and. Um, Usually, uh, they, they all are friendly and uh, like enjoying life. All right. Okay. So, uh, thank you, Olga. I hope we have covered all the major topics. And do you have anything else to tell tell to the people who are planning to come to Ika University in the future? Uh, I wanted to I want to say uh, encouraging words to everyone who is listening our interview. And uh, I want to encourage you to change your life, to, to make the next step of your uh, life, getting uh, international education. It's, it's possible. We have a lot of students from India who already got diploma and uh, changed their life for the better. Uh, it's not so hard, but still, uh, of course, you will need to, to make uh, some next steps. Of course, uh, our partners uh, will help you. and. Um, I, I will be happy to welcome you in Riga in our university. Thank you. Olga, well, thank you so much for your time and thank you so much. It was thank a great you. interview. You thank explained, you. you went through all the ma major important steps and the information that is required for the of student. Of course, and we are, for, we are uh, ready to answer any questions yep. anytime. So. We have uh, our website, we have our Instagram yeah. and please uh, Feel free to contact us. the yeah. university yeah. and if, yeah. they, if you need more doubts on the uh, about the university we will make another video in some other uh, months yes yeah thank so, you yeah thank you so thank much thank you so much yeah. bye